Adobe InDesign offers a lot of ways to format text in your documents. In this project, you'll apply basic formatting options like font, size, and color to text using the Properties panel. If you want to follow along, you can open a file you have or this file from the practice files for this tutorial. The text on this business card needs some formatting changes, a different font and a smaller font size so it fits in the text frame. This red plus down here means some of the text doesn't fit in the frame. Also, you may make a few other changes. So first, select the Type tool in the Tools panel on the left and click in the text Studio Iconic. To select all of the text in the text frame, choose Edit, Select All. Text formatting can be found in the Properties panel to the right of the document. There are a lot of text formatting options you can experiment with, including font, font style, font size, letting, which is the vertical space between lines of text, and more. To change the font size of the selected text, choose 8 from the font size menu here. Now you'll apply some formatting to just the Studio Iconic text. So move the pointer to the right side of the text, press and drag to the left to select it. Only the selected characters will reflect formatting changes you make, so make sure you select all of the characters in both words. To make the text all capitals, click More Options here in the Character section of the Properties panel so you can see some more formatting options. Click the All Caps button to apply all capitals. You'll see a series of options here like Underline, Strike Through, and more. Now to apply some text formatting to the text on the right. So select the Selection tool in the Tools panel on the left and click to select this text frame with the text Odin Quest in it. If all the text in the text frame needs the same formatting applied, you can simply select the text frame with the Selection tool and apply the formatting. To change the font size of the text, choose 8 from the Font Size menu in the Properties panel. Now you'll change the default font of Minion Pro for this text. In the Properties panel, click the Font Family menu. You should see the selected text that begins with Odin Quest is showing as sample text. Sample text lets you easily preview a font. You can choose from the list of fonts in your machine like you see here, but you can also browse Adobe fonts from the thousands available with your membership. To see the Adobe fonts, click Find More in the Font Family menu. The list of fonts you see might look different, which is okay. Your font list depends on the type of Creative Cloud membership you have and which fonts you've already installed. And keep in mind that Adobe is always adding more fonts for members. Now you can sort the fonts based on properties like serif and sans serif or different weight fonts by clicking here. We'll just choose a font from the list so you can press escape to hide the options. You can then choose a font and sync it to your machine. Syncing a font makes it available on your computer and also available to all of your other Creative Cloud apps. So scroll all the way down in the font list and find Railway. Click the arrow here to see the font styles and click this icon to the far right to sync Railway Regular to your machine. Click OK in the message that appears. The font is now syncing to your machine. You can filter this list to see the Adobe fonts you've synced in the Font Family menu here, and you should eventually be able to see your newly installed font. Click to apply the Railway font to your text. InDesign offers a lot of powerful text formatting options, from formatting heading type to fine-tuning the appearance of body copy in a book. You can now format your own text according to each design's unique needs.